Even if you are wrong, God still loves you with your character that you have. He still accepts you. He never chases, chases you away. Amen. He still welcomes you. So on that one, you husbands, whenever your wife does something wrong, you mustn't chase them away. You must love them. Uh, amen. Let's get an amen to that. Amen. amen. <laughs> because because <laughs> Mr. Gift, Mr. Mr. Lunga, and um, Mrs. Lunga. Welcome to the show. <laughs> As we are going to say to talk about how marriages work and when you make the covenant mm -hmm. you remember when um, you are getting married when you make those vows whether you say for better or worse either in riches or in fin finances in the struggles that you're going to face and you say or oh, better for worse so this is what we're going to discuss today is we are going to allude more points on how will it help us is also as Christian in our journey in our marriages? Okay. Okay, so the first point says marriage is it's not a trap, it's a privilege. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you see, marriage, you are not trapped. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's a privilege that comes from God. Marriage was designed by God in the Garden of Eden. So we cannot say marriage is just come and say boom is a trap whereby you are trapped in mm. yeah so it's, it's not a trap no it's some at the times people feel like it's a trap that when you get married then like i've, I've got a sister was saying how can i get married so my freedom is going away if i get married i feel like i'll be losing my freedom so it's not a trap it's a privilege when you get married it's um it's an amazing union that 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 involves God, you, and the husband, and me as a wife. Mm. Okay. Um, the next point says, God, God, good marriages takes brains and determination. Successful marriage does not come spontaneously or by chance. Mm. So marriage doesn't come by chance. Yeah, you just wake up and say, say I'm married. So it's not like you, the ones that I'm seeing here on TV saying marriage on first sight. Where by people <laughs> get married, yet they ever known each other mm. but marriage it was the plan of god he designed it mm -hmm. in the garden of eden when he said to it is not good for a man to live alone then he created a helper for him so marriage is the one that i'm seeing in today's world is people getting married on the first day <laughs> yeah so okay the point is successful marriage does not come spontaneously mm. or by chance so su successful you need to work Hard for marriage. Yes. It doesn't judge you don't just wake up and say, Yeah, I married a great man and we're happy and you know, you work hard and God also when you pray and when you talk to God about your marriage, ask God, God may please be with my husband, please help us to understand each other and all that thing. Okay. Mm. The so next the, point, oh. the the next point that I want to allude on the marriage, marriage is like in is likened to to a ladder. So a ladder you've got two uprights. No, so you've got the upright on the left and the upright on the la on the right hand side. So, but they are rags that holds the la the ladder for it to be strong. So it's likening it to the marriage. So on those two two upright sides, so you've got the husband on the other side and the the wife on the other side. Them together bring working together. So a ladder is strong with its rags when it like. When it's connected together, so also in marriage you have to have the connection and the union together. I mean, oh, okay. So this is oh, okay. This is what he's talking about. He even drew it. So this is the the ladder. Let me just come closer. The husband, this side. The wife, this side. Okay. So he say draws and holds them together. The husband and the wife. I don't know what you're saying. What so and. And they shall become one flesh. Also, this is the husband, this is the wife. So, I don't know if God makes us to join, then we become one flesh. So, we become the ladder. We become one flesh. Ne? Like two sides coming together as one. Okay. Um. So, in marriage, is I alluded that it's unlike to, 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 to the ladder. Mm. So, the ladder becomes strong. Mm -hmm. So, the, the mm -hmm. boat... Mm. The bottom, the, the the bottom. So on the ladder we've got the bottom, the the bottom rack and the 
the the highest ranks. Mm -hmm. So when on the lowest, it is the physical attraction. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the highest, it is the pure love mm -hmm. of God. So the center of marriage mm -hmm. it's centered on Christ being being the one who unites people together. Even when you say when he connected when Jacob had a dream um when from he was fleeing from his brother Esau there was a connection between earth and heaven which means Christ is the connection he is the source of everything amen also um it says um so on the ladder uh, isn't it you've got the steps and the 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 two sides of the ladder so they say all depends on the other and becomes all depends on the other becomes important to maintain the unit so for the ladder to be a ladder, it 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 what it 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 has those steps. Mm. So it cannot be a ladder when it's got one one step. It has steps. So those steps they depend on each other to become one thing. So in marriage, we depend on each other. Mm. I cannot be he cannot be married to me, and yet I'm you know I'm just doing nothing about the marriage. We need to work hard. I need to pray. He needs to pray. I've seen that uh, women mostly women they're in these groups like facebook groups for praying for marriage uh whatsapp groups for praying for their marriage they are busy reading books but i actually feel like the husbands are not doing a lot it's like it feels like it's more of a woman's job to it's not like more of a woman's job mm. as men also we play our part if we read in the bible in ephesians the bible says husbands love your wives as christ did and gave himself for, for the church. So as husband, we follow the suit of Christ. Our example is we lead the, 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 the family, we lead according to Christ because Christ loved the church and gave himself. So that's why we see, yes, you can say women pray for the husband, also her husband, we take part in doing that. Okay, Baba Sheikh, what you are saying, I understand. You are yes, quoting from the Bible, but in real life, are you guys putting like an effort in your marriages? We do. We also pray also for our wives. We love our wives. You love your wife? Yes, we. I do love my no, wife. No, I'm not saying you. I'm saying you as husband. So yes. I'm, uh, you see, but also we've got all, yes. We also have some our our groups where we discuss how we will be better husbands to our wives. So we've got also a platform as men where we discuss. Our things. All right. Okay. So um. So to, uh, I don't know something worse and something better. I don't know what was this. What is this? Okay. Let me read this part. Mm -hmm. There's need for personal. So in marriage, mm -hmm. there is need for a personal relationship with God. Hallelujah. It's not only a self-centered, but you need. To have a personal relationship, God, as a wife, mm -hmm. as a husband. Mm -hmm. Then it goes, say, it reads, if couples commit themselves and their homes to the higher powers, you know, the higher powers, we are not talking involving God, they become bound together as partners in a stable, successful marriage relationship. So you need to, to involve yourself. In prayer and in reading of scripture and ask God to guide you in your marriage amen mm. yeah you are, you are preaching eh? okay uh, so now we are going to the something where so there are the there are two things I uh, isn't it for better for worse? so I want to see the worst part of the marriage and the better part of the marriage. so we're gonna start with um it's like I'm on the side no, you're not. Okay. It's like, <laughs> okay, I want to start with something worse. Mm. Um, today, people tend to accept divorce as socially acceptable. 38% of first marriage, of, yeah, of first marriages end in divorce. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, you, you see, tell me, if, if I am to say, if we are married at first sight, <laughs> we don't know each other, then I say, I'm going to propose and say, will you marry me? Mm. How will it end? Because we, we haven't known each other. Mm -hmm. We haven't dated, but we are getting married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some marriage is something that's sacred. You need to know the person that you're marrying. You need to know the person that you're marrying before you marry that person. Um, so we've been watching marriage, ma married at first sight, and we've realized like most of the couples, they divorce. 
I think maybe out of 10, one stays together. Why? Because we don't know each other. We are, we are, we are getting married not, and not making God the foundation of this marriage. Of which God is the author of this marriage. So we need to consult with God all the times. Okay, um, so what does God say? So God said he hates divorce. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want people to divorce. Mm. Mm. Because you see, if it divorces, mm. it brings hatred. Mm. It brings heartaches. Mm. People will get heartbroken. Mm. Because the, you know why? Because they are married for wrong reasons. No. So getting married yeah. is not getting married for wrong. It's, it's, a, it's a lifetime thing. So it's for eternity. Whereby you want to live a heavenly home on earth. Okay, I actually feel like divorce is um like it hurts. It's painful when you guys divorce because the next thing I'm gonna see my husband, uh, see with another woman. It, it, I I don't know with another woman and he misses me with another man. Then sometimes we go to school. Maybe our kid has got um a function in school or she's graduating. Then that child is good for parents. When it's time for the parents, for the I've seen my like some weddings. They say may the mother stand up, the parents stand up. Now four people are standing up. Understand? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Four people are standing up. The, the the father and the wife, then the mother and the husband also. Understand? So it just causes confusion in kids and all. Oh, like divorce is not right. But the times when people want to save their lives because they would have made the wrong person like maybe abusive people and all you know so sometimes they feel like it's actually better for them to be alone and, and safe and preserve their life but the what i'm saying the what i said first people get married get into marriage for wrong reasons because some they are feeling lonely because he wants someone to to mm. be by his side mm. then yet in the long run he discovers that i have made the wrong choice because you have met an abuser you have met someone who's uh who's unloving who's selfish so marriage is something that you need to sit and consult with god hallelujah because mm. with our own eyes sometimes we, we, we tend to be blind mm. there are certain things that happens when you, you guys are dating it oh so you, maybe you even see that this person is rude or what but you don't consider because you are blinded by the love but when you when you start staying together then your eyes stay opened mm. because how, how can you say i'm married today mm. and in the next six, six weeks we are already divorced yeah but the, that's what people do the celebrities do that all the times so but yeah. is it right in yeah. the community what are we teaching the community about marriage we're teaching them that marriage is hard but was is it god's plan no god's plan is is a, is a nice plan unusual but don't forget that the devil always want to destroy people who are married so the devil has come up with this divorce like it's an option to opt out instead of you guys working your problems together and you know continuing the devil says you can just divorce and continue but with life. remember when we started this we said for better or for worse. Yes. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, so something better. Um, the care for for all the ills and the cure. The what? what cure. Is the cure. Oh, okay, very You can read your points. <laughs> <laughs> the cure for all the ills and wrongs, the care, the sorrows, and the crimes of humanity, all lies in one word, which is love. So, so when we're talking about love, it is divine. It's not something that I can acquire today. So it's something that is being nurtured in a relationship with God. So God is the center of everything. For God so loved the world that he gave. So God first loved the world and then he gave. So when I am entering into marriage, I first love. love. Then you give. Mm -hmm. You give mm. yourself. So you give yourself mm. into what you're going into. Mm. Into marriage. So into marriage. So that's why we say at first for better or worse. Mm. So there is no turning back. Mm. There is no wrong turn mm. in marriage. No, but that times when you wrong, when you do the wrong decision. But here the Bible says, "For God so loved the world mm. that He gave His only Son, His begotten Son." Mm. Here it says. Yeah, because God is the source of love. That's why I said first earlier is that husbands love your wives as Christ did and gave himself 
for the church. Mm -hmm. mm. You see, he, Christ was, was, was crucified, he even died for us. So you husband, you can even die for us wives, you know? <laughs> yes, but what I'm saying here, yeah, what I'm saying is, I understand what you're saying. Everything mm -hmm. works in one word. Love. love yes yes so we need to be together for better or for worse when things go wrong we need to be together when things don't go wrong we when things are good we need to work together when things are wrong we still need to support each other there are times when when you feel like hey this person maybe was involved in an accident and he's you know he's now a disabled person i cannot love you still have to love that person because we you signed a contract and you know what this contract only expires when Till death yes, do us apart. Yes, when death. So this is a contract. You guys, when you are getting married, you need to know that you are not doing this for for joy, for jokes, or for fun, or for sex. Because people they think like they're getting married for sex. You're gonna have sex for the first one month. Then after that, you're gonna. Mm. Then it's gonna be over. You need to be friends with that person. Ne? Yes, you have yeah. to be friends. You need to be friends so that when the sex butterflies are gone, you still love that person. You don't have to marry for wrong reasons. So when things go wrong, you will stand with your man and you or you stand with your wife. Mm, because Christ also When I get coronavirus, I still stand with you. <laughs> because you know why? The re the reason why I'm saying so yeah. is because we we sinned mm. against God. Mm. And God did not reject us. Mm. He still loved us. Mm. And to the point of death, mm. he loved us mm. that he could die for us. So with such great love, he's saying we should love one another for better ways. Whether you've got money, without money, whether you're living in a shack or not. But the greatest thing that conquers everything in marriage is love. For God is love. So, okay, for, in conclusion, all I, I feel like, um, like um, God gave us an example. Yes, he yes, did. He gave us an example, like his love for the world, his love for... Like when he sent his son to death, like he's a selfless God. So you husbands, you must copy Jesus Christ and God, because he's saying you husband loves your love your wives as as Christ did to the church. And I said we are the church. So we the wives, we are the church. You are the you know yeah. So you must take their example of Christ. Love your wives when they talk talk too much and you are you are in lockdown. You are still together. Love them. Eh? You see, you're locked down together. <laughs> Did you have to love me? <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult, but, but I pray that God will help us, mm -hmm. that we may find peace and joy and in understanding mm -hmm. how He loved us, mm -hmm. so that also we could pass it on to another person. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in our next video, we're going to talk about. What's the topic? Um, the topic for it says. Um, Know your mate. Yes, yes. The next, the next, the next topic that we're going to talking about is, is about knowing your mate. Is we are married, we need to know. Because mm. I actually feel like maybe sometimes we think like I've got my own perceptions of love. I think love is this, and yet he thinks love is this. So when you get married, you need to know that person, know the way he thinks. The times when I say it's fine, when it's not fine. So you need to know your woman. You need to know your your husband. So that's what we're gonna post. When are we gonna do the video? Um, you're going to receive the video in the next few days. Okay. Thank so you.